Hey guys, welcome to BalsaCircle.com where we do decorations for weddings and special events and Oscar season, award season, bling, glam, fancy, bam, that's right. And we are going to get part of the fun or be part of the fun. Basically, we're creating a beautiful setup with champagne glasses that are dressed up as couture guests and celebs and you name it. And we are basically covering this all in our entire layout here. So here we're starting with our, I was gonna say our groom. You could do this for a groom, but we're actually upping it a step here. We're using some glitter and glam for his um, tux. We're using our foam sheet and just creating kind of an acute tall triangle. And here we're using a really thin satin ribbon here. We wanna make sure that it's satin. It's just not like some regular ribbon because we want it to look really couture, really glam, and every single detail in here, and we'll go through it. Basically, you just wanna pull out all the stops and feel like you're there. That's basically what I'm talking about here. So here, for the actual buttons, um, we're using some of our stick-on pearls here, and or gem stickers, however you wanna call it. And um, these are beautiful for the buttons. I mean, look at that. It's just, every single detail in these is just um, so, I can't wait to share every detail, so let's just keep going. <laughs> so with our uh, hot glue, we're just placing it on, kind of like you don't wanna place it too low or too high, because we're still gonna be doing the actual um, top part of the whole tux look, the ribbon. So that's what we're doing here. I would say about a little bit longer than six inches, and we're folding it over twice. We did that really fast. If you wanna slow it down or stop it, you're more than welcome to do that. Just um, cinch in the, the center there, and we're using our handy dandy um, wire here. Now in the middle, the reason why we're using wire and not just um, doing a regular bow is because we want this to look absolutely perfect. So with the wire, we're able to do that. And um, don't worry if there's an edge on the very bottom of the ribbon that's a little bit longer, you can always snip it later. With the wire, obviously you can do so much more and basically mold it how you want it to be. Both sides of the ribbon, you know, obviously I'm, I'm stating the obvious, make sure that they're both the same size. So here for the center of the ribbon, we're using a thick or wide satin ribbon as well. We're using three glue dots right there and folding it over. And you're probably wondering, why don't you just use a thin satin ribbon? Good question. The reason why we're not doing this is because we wanted absolutely no seams. And this is the way that we were able to do it. So we folded in both sides. So the center part of this ribbon had absolutely no seams. And the reason why is because we are just upping our game. It's couture. I mean, believe it or not, there was one year, the most expensive dress at the Academy Awards was in back in 2013 that was her whole entire entourage of look or her, her whole ensemble was 18.1 million dollars it's amazing so that's why we wanted to make sure that every single detail was accounted for so just place that bow right on top don't let any gap be between just the bottom where the the pearls are and the top we just want it to seamlessly come together so okay i've been waiting for this my entire life. <laughs> no, not really. But we are making a couture dress on a champagne glass. Hello, exciting. We are also just taking basically the top part of a bow. That's the um, aesthetics that we're looking for and how I can best describe it. We wanted to make it as easy as possible for you. We tried this a couple of times and this was the easiest. So basically you're just taking that same satin ribbon and we're gonna do one side at a time. Here we're just going to, you're gonna be gluing it at a slant because that's gonna be the top part of the bodice. So here, no seams again. So we're taking a couple of glue dots and we're putting it on the edges and tucking them in, in the inside. So you have no edges. I mean, hello, that is that is what is gonna complete the look and your guests are gonna be absolutely flabbergasted on how beautiful everything looks and um, how special it is. So basically you're just going to be gluing that um, at a tilt 
and then make sure that you have, we haven't even cut the ribbon at this point. We're just going to twirl it around the neck of the, the flute or the champagne glass, make sure it's super tight. So just glue it at the very end once that one side is done and we're just gonna duplicate the process. Now, really interesting, um, you know, some of these celebrities go really the extra mile. They do, they drink like detox teas and they take Epsom salt baths so they don't retain water. So if you think about it, Valentine's Day is right before the Academy Awards. So these people, these women and men are really watching their diet even on Valentine's when they're supposed to be eating chocolate and drinking wine. So we are basically just embodying their beautiful you know, sleek, beautiful bodies here as well. So once that other side is done, make sure you leave a long tail to wrap it around and glue it at the bottom as well. Now for the details, because of course it's all the details um, from every little crystal and every little air, eyebrow hair into place that at these Oscars, we decided to give a little bit of that detail on this um, on this couture dress. So basically we took three really thin satin ribbon and we just braided it. And make sure you make it long enough. The first time we didn't make it long enough. So make sure you can do it like a foot or two because you're gonna do several of the glasses. So instead of having to braid it every single time, you can do a really long braid and, and use them for all of the champagne glasses for the women. So just uh, basically take some hot glue and put it into place. Make sure it's super tight. We don't want anything baggy on this dress here. And the great thing about this is once you tie it in the back um, and you make a super tight knot, because of the braid, you don't have to glue it. It will stay into place. If you want to glue it just in case, you know, people get a little cray at your party and um, you can glue it, but you don't have to. So here with the bling, this comes in a huge sheet, so you can use these for DIYs to come. Just click in that description, we have everything below. And this sheet is great for so many DIY projects. So that is the bodice, so beautiful. And of course, to top it off, we have to have some ice. Yes, that's right. We've gotta get some bling on there, you know, a little drop necklace. Um, with our gem stickers and on the bottom of our couture dress we decided to really go hog wild here and put some feathers so this came from a boa we just snipped it short and then we just made sure that all the feathers were cut really short so they're not all over the place and it's just really beautifully set on the bottom of the champagne glass so there you go you've got your interviewer in the middle you've got your celebs on the side and let's see who wins this year i'm so excited make sure you comment below and let us know who you believe what actors and actresses you believe should win for sure hands down eyes closed and we hope you guys like this video if you enjoyed this look, if you loved it and want to recreate it and share it with your friends, make sure you like this so we know, so we know that we we know that this is valuable to you guys. Make sure you share with your friends anyone that would love to recreate this look and also comment below, let us know what celeb you think is going to win best actress, best actor, best movie, all of that. We want to know. So make sure you comment below. We'll see you soon.